Hello! Today we are going to learn about how to use the verb to go in Spanish. The verb to go in Spanish is ir. Let's say it together. Ir. Great! So today let's have a look here. The verb ir, to go, is in the infinitive form. So we need to change it to the form based on the subject pronoun that we want to speak about. So, in the case of I, which is yo in Spanish, we say voy. Yo voy. If we want to say you, tú, we say tú vas. You hear that the V in Spanish makes the b b b sound. So, tú vas. If we want to say he, she, or it, we, see, we say él or ella, and if we're being polite, we say usted for a person that we don't know very well. And then we say the verb, va. Él va. Ella va. Usted va. Then we come to we, nosotros. So when we use nosotros, we say vamos. Nosotros vamos. If we want to say y'all, only in Spain, we say vosotros. Vosotros vais. Vosotros vais. You hear the B sound instead of the v, v, v sound. If we want to say they, it will depend. If it's all a group of males, or it's a mixed group of females and males, we say ellos. If it's a group that only has females in it, we just say ellas. And then if it's a group of people that we don't know very well or we want to be very polite, we say ustedes. So ellos van, ellas van, and ustedes van. You notice when you have the two L's together that it makes the y, y, y sound. Ellos van, ellas van. So remember, the V makes the b, b, b sound and the two L's together make the y, y, y sound. So there we've gotten started. Next, I would like to introduce you to the way we put our sentences together. So, first we will have our subject pronoun, so I in this case, then we'll have our verb, go, then to, and then the place, the store in this case. So, we will say, yo voy a, to, a, la tienda, the store. Okay? So, let's put together some sentences of our own using some animal friends that we have. So let's say together that this squirrel, which is called la ardilla, la ardilla, you notice that the double L makes the Y sound. La ardilla is a feminine word. So let's use la ardilla. Where will la ardilla go? I think that la ardilla will go to the mountains. So, las montañas. Now you've learned two vocabulary words. La ardilla, the squirrel, here, and las montañas, the mountains, okay? You notice here that this N with the squiggle on top makes the nya 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 sound as if it had an N and a Y together. Las montañas. So we will use our template that we had before and we will say la ardilla, la ardilla, ella, la ardilla, ella va a las montañas. Ella va a las montañas. Or you can also just say la ardilla va a las montañas. Okay? Very good. Next one, we will learn about what this fish will do. And I think he is a salmon. So, 
we will learn about what he will do. And this fish, since he is a salmon, he is el salmon. El salmon. And I think that the salmon will go to la playa, to the beach. The salmon will go to the beach. So we look again and we will say yo. No, we won't say yo because it's him, it's he. So we will say el. El va a la playa. El va a la playa. So now we have two friends. We have two friends that will go together. We have this flamingo, who is a girl, and we have this dragon, who is a boy. That means it's a mixed group, right? A mixed group. So we will say ellos. So we have el flamenco, the flamingo, and we have el dinosaurio. Maybe he's a dinosaur, not a dragon. El dinosaurio. But they're a group. They're going together. And since one is a girl and one is a boy, we will say ellos because it's a mixed group. I think that they are going to go to the meeting. La reunión. They are going to go to the meeting. La reunión. So we will say ellos van a la reunión. Ellos van a la reunión. Don't forget, it's but but van, not va, not van. Okay. So our next one we have here a very nice, a very nice uh, puppy, right here. So this puppy and I, we. So this puppy is called el perrito, but in this case. The puppy and I, so we, are going to go to the party. So we will say, nosotros vamos a, to, a, la fiesta. We go to the party. Nosotros vamos a la fiesta. And last but not least, we have this little mouse. And so the little mouse is called the ratoncito. The ratoncito. And I think that the ratoncito and the ardilla, el ardilla, are going to go on vacation. They're going to go on vacation together. Together they will go. So if these two are going on vacation, they need someone to tell them that they are going on vacation, and I will tell them. But this is kind of weird. How do I say it? So, I don't really need to be polite. They're my friends. They're not somebody that is very, very special or someone I need to be extremely polite with. So I will use y'all or vosotros, and I will tell them vosotros vais, but I will say not a vacaciones, I will say de vacaciones. This is an irregular one. This doesn't follow the normal rules. De vacaciones. So I tell them, and they will be very excited, that vosotros, y'all, vosotros vais de vacaciones. Y'all are going on vacation, or you guys are going on vacation, and they will be very happy. So today you have learned how to use to go or ir in a simple present tense sen uh, sentence. You have learned the vocabulary on vacation, de vacaciones, the party, la fiesta, the meeting, la reunión, and las montañas, the mountains. You have also learned the mouse, el ratoncito, the dinosaur, el dinosaurio, the flamingo, el flamenco, the squirrel, la ardilla, and the puppy, el perrito. Very good job.